In order to show you how to convert an array to collection, first of all, we need to create an array. For that, I will get some data from Google Sheets. And the range will be 8B. Okay, now let's create this sheet. We will make a simple example where I have some parameters. So here are my parameters. Now let's fetch them. Nice, so we got four bundles. That's not an array. To make an array, we need to aggregate these results. So let's just uh, select a quick array aggregator and select the first two columns. Now if we run, we have an array with four children and each children has two A and B, two items, on position zero and one. So to convert this into a collection, uh, let's just select an arbitrary module. I'll select the set variable. And this is going to be our collection. So the most important part, to collection function. You can find this one under the functions for working with arrays, surprisingly. And so let's take a look. Uh, he wants an array, key, and a value. Let's give him what he wants. What he wants. An array, a key. Now what is the key? That's the position of the item. So it's zero and one. Remember, because our items are on position zero and one. That's how it should work, right? Let's take a look. Yeah, except it does not work. So I tried to figure out what is the problem with this and I came to the conclusion that integromat to collection function has a problem with the number zero. So whenever there is a zero, it just doesn't return anything. So we need to have numbers like one and two. In order to do that, we need to move these two to position one and two. How do we do that? Well, we need to change our input. So I will move this by one cell. And we will fetch the columns A, B, and C now. All right, so let's change the range A to C. Let's run this to update the information. And here we need to select A, B, and C. So right now, if one, zero, one, two, here is our array, and here is our collection. And we've got all the parameters we need.